What is going on guys? My name is Brent and in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to minimize your JavaScript code using Gulp. So a prerequisite to this video is that you've watched my previous tutorial on Gulp that I'll link above. Um, that video is over the installation and setup of Gulp and in this tutorial we'll talk about the Gulp plugin to actually minimize your code. So in order to do that, I want you to go ahead and install Gulp Uglify. You can find that on NPM here. Um, we'll go ahead and go to our terminal window, npm install, hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev, and Gulp Uglify. Go ahead and let that install. So in order to use it after installation, of course, we need to uh, require it inside of our Gulp file. Uh, so let's create a new variable here inside of our Gulp file. Uh, Uglify equals require, you guessed it probably, gulp uglify. Save that. So let's go ahead and create a new task called uglify that when we execute will uh, uglify or minimize all of our JavaScript files in our client uh, JavaScript file. So I want to, or J JavaScript folder, I want to minimize all the JavaScript uh, files inside of this folder. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new gulp.task. We'll name the task uglify and the callback function will do gulp.src, which is source. Now we have to pass it the source folder um, that we're going to get our JavaScript files from. In our case, it's the client JavaScript. Then we'll pass it double asterisk, which means that to, you know, it can be in any directory or in the just the JavaScript directory. Uh, and then all files with the JavaScript extension. And then, so that will take all the files. Now what we can do is uh, pipe that to our uglify um, module up here. That will minimize everything. Now that won't save it anywhere. It's just gonna compress it and just set with it and then probably delete it later on. So in order to do something with it, we need to pipe it to gulp.destination and then we can say uh, set a destination folder where we want all these uh, minimized files to be. So in our case, I'm going to pipe them to client uh, distribution or dist, the dist folder. We'll go ahead and save that. And then now let's go ahead and run our gulp uglify. Uh, you can see down here that it was started and finished after 8.96 milliseconds. So over here in our clients folder, we can see a new distribution folder has uh, been created and we can see that it matches our controllers. Our directives folder didn't have any JavaScript files in it, uh, so it didn't minimize anything there. It didn't create the folder here. Uh, but let's look at our app.js and of course it is completely minimized to save space. Um, our controllers, everything has been minimized appropriately and we can use that in our distribution uh, version of our application. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys want to see more on Gulp, let me know what you want to learn. I'll try to make a video for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I would give you two big thumbs up for that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.